Hey y'all, so this is Danica's monitor. It's the back of the monitor. I just took it off its mounting points. So she wants this from black to pink. So of course most standard monitors come in black. Uh, I mean we could actually buy a pink one, but uh, since this is a good working functional monitor, there's no need to. I have some spare pink uh, spray paint from a while back. So actually I just uh, spray paint her uh, mounting points. So since the monitor is so close to the desk and there's really no room on the desk since it's a, a small corner desk, uh, I decided to mount the monitor on the wall just to save some space. So made some uh, homemade brackets from just spare parts laying around the house. And um, now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm thinking about masking this area from the spray paint uh, just because I don't want any any uh, I guess moisture or, or anything that could affect the performance of the monitor so I'll probably just uh, take this off uh, probably won't spray paint the whole thing meaning that the back side because you won't really see it I'm more concerned about the the, the front the sides the top uh, and maybe not even the bottom so um, most people won't be able to see that, so we'll, we'll see. So I'm going to start masking the vented areas. And I'm using the tried and true frog tape here. Uh, I like it better than the blue tape, just because it's got the paint, paint blocking technology. If you could see that there. So that's what I'm going to use. Hopefully it'll stick. We'll see. And sometimes if you're not careful, they'll stick together like that. So I probably won't use that section. Tear that off. sticking fairly well. And let's can we do an angle turn here? Yeah we can do that. Don't need to make it too perfect. Again most people won't see the back of this monitor but uh, in some angles you will see it so we're gonna try our best to to paint the, a little bit of the back side not measuring the, the masking tape at all just doing the best guess and there I messed it up again still use it Against the back side, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Let's go ahead and undo the VGA cord. Come on, come on out, and 
think finally get power cord. Let's, as a precautionary measure, cover up the details. And we're just going to cover the ports just in case. And the back side doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to cover the ports. Okay, we're gonna flip this around. Ooh, it's a little dirty there. It's okay. This. Do an estimated measurement. Danica, you want to grab me the scissors? So what I basically did was just tuck the tape in Do the 
same thing, just make a little mark on my cutting lines. Same thing and attempt to tuck this in.
small, small cap. I'm not too happy about that, so I'm just going to just lay it right here. Try to rock that in back and forth. There we go. Much better. I don't want any, any paint on the actual monitor itself. I'm going to use that to cover the rest of the monitor. <coughs> or what used to be a very Bradley bag, shopping bag. Use this. Just make some rough cuts. <laughs> Just to see how much we need. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 